everyone welcome back to another video on the channel today we're back with another video on GT Sport and again like I said the other day I wanted to try and get some variety to the channel so in today's video we're driving the Alfa Romeo 4C um, it was from the daily race um, it was the race A um, just a four lap race I think it was or three three or four lap race at Monza and um, this was my qualifying lap uh, I just wanted to point out some tips for this car while I'm um, doing it we jumped on I didn't spend too long in the qualifying process as you can see from we were, we were on a 159.6 and we got down to a 59.3 um, I think it was and I thought that'll do me um, I just want to get a race done because I know these races don't tend to be as competitive as the BNC races etc but um I just wanted to try a road car and I found this car it really did benefits when you're in fourth gear just braking hard and staying in that fourth gear until as late as possible and then the downshift and um, because it, it really did protect the rear from stepping out and um, you can see the way it's handling now when we get in the braking zones you'll see if we if if we were to slam down the gears it tended to kick the rear out but staying in fourth gear and braking down in fourth gear it just stayed a lot more stable through the corners you can see here now we're not going in third gear staying in fourth gear and it was just a lot smoother through there you can see that's where we gained quite a bit of time as well um, nice and smooth and even for the last corner I just found the staining fourth gear if I put it in third gear it just used it was just starting to spin up a bit but um, this car definitely in fourth gear I mean this was with the sports hard tyres um, I would have preferred sports medium maybe just a little bit more grip but it really did it was driving the car on the edge a lot of the time you can see the steering wheel constantly working you felt like the rear tyres were on the verge of slipping uh, and losing control but that was the feeling you wanted to have through like the first corner um, mainly as well that was a really nice corner if you got it right you kind of drifted through that corner anyway you can see there that was our qualifying lap at 159.3 um, could have been a lot faster but I just wanted to get a lap in just to get me at the front of the field in, qualify, in, in the race and it did us out um, easily we ended up in pole position okay so you can see um, we, we, I think we were the only S rated driver in this race as you're going to see now there was a couple of A, a few A, a rated drivers and a fair few B um, I don't know whether it's just a thing with these race A's it's a, it's a smaller field and there was only 12 people in it I'm not sure I don't really do these races that often um, maybe that is the limit for um, these races but um, I, I don't know if it can go higher or not I'm not too sure maybe you guys can let me know I'm guessing it's probably a maximum of 12 players um, because there would have probably been um, races with CMD drivers etc and E but as you can see they're getting away straight away the slipstream um, needed to try and get out of the slipstream but going down this really long straight obviously no chicane on this version that we were racing today in the 4c and um, I needed to try and defend it because I know that these guys were probably going to be a little bit slower than myself so I needed to just try and break that slipstream and then enjoy the race sliding this car around so we had to take kind of a compromise entry see we had to slowly get over to the left I wasn't sure if someone was going to lunge down that inside so I didn't want to just throw it in the inside too much but managed to carry some good speed you can see the rear just kind of just gliding on them rear tyres and that's how you've got to drive this car and then down in fourth gear and again I didn't want to push too hard on this race because it's only four laps and this car was a little bit temperamental we went a little bit too steep into that corner we went a little bit too deep sorry into that corner and um, had to brake really hard and lost a little bit of time on the exit but again not a massive issue and then down into third gear and what I did was I, I tended to go down into third gear for that corner and then early up shift into fourth so you can get on the power and avoid that wheel spin in third gear and where it starts to be a bit unsettled and again in fourth gear through this corner we ran a little bit wide you can see there got away with that just trying to push out the slipstream but um, we ended up probably losing time a little bit but he's still in the slipstream going down straight so I mean this is the corner where I was pretty confident we could maybe pull a little bit of time to the guys behind because um, it was fairly tricky and, and it was just the way you had to take it like obviously stay down to fourth gear and just stay in fourth gear a lot of people were going down to third gear and losing a lot of time through this corner I was just doing it in fourth gear going all the way through the corner you can see there but I had a massive moment on the exit there even though we still managed to gain though we still managed to gain four attempts just through that corner even with that massive moment but we just about saved it on the corner exit and I have to say I actually really enjoy driving this car um, it's not going to be my main choice of cars like the road cars but I do want to get a video from a road car up every now and then um, something different to the channel we don't want to be just driving the same cars all the time we want to test ourselves we want to learn new stuff and I actually think this actually kind of did help me when I got to the BMW with the, the shifting I did try doing the shifting very similar to this where you stay in a gear a lot longer and it seemed to be so much more stable in the BMW M4 as well the GR4 version 
So it kind of seems to be a, a trait of GT Sport, whereas other games you can be a little bit more aggressive on the downshifting. So um, hopefully, I have noticed as well when we went to Brands Hatch last night just to do a quick test lap, I instantly matched my um, previous best lap, and the lap wasn't at all a perfect lap. So. I think I can get down to a 28 1 to 2 now on Browns Hatch in the M4, which is very close to the top times. I think they're on like 27 9s and stuff when um, you see the real top players on it. So we're definitely making progress. I'm starting to get more used to the handling model and it's really helped me out. As you can see again, attacking the curbs. I love going through these curbs on Monza, really attacking and watch the car bounce around. And you can see we've built up a bit of a gap now. So once I've built up that gap now, obviously the aim is to start pushing a little bit harder. You can see we've got about a two second gap to the guys behind happened fairly quickly obviously once we were out the slipstream we could start pushing a little bit harder and um, I was fairly confident getting the win to be brutally honest because there was no S rated drivers in the lobby I mean you do come up against some faster drivers sometimes that are working their way through the ranks but in the A races maybe not so much um, as you can see now this is this is why I, do, I did enjoy this car because you had to drive it very close to the limit to get the most out of it and um, we weren't even getting the most out of it. I mean we could have pushed a lot harder in this race and um, I think I could have got the laps consistently in the one with 59 59s if we would have been really pushing but it was a bit risky considering this was my first ever time driving this car again um, and the rear was a little bit loose going through some of them corners and it did, does, does make you think twice about pushing too hard but we had it pretty much comfortable you can see we're gaining another, another near well seven tenths of a second already on this lap and then going to the last corner again, this is another corner where it does seem to benefit staying in fourth gear and just holding it on the outside and just maintaining speed. You can see there, using all the track on the outside there, maintaining the speed through the corner and then working our way down the long straight. And then this first corner, it was a corner that I really did enjoy. You can see we go over the line on uh, two minutes, 2.2. So it's about nine tenths off our qualifying lap. It just shows you that obviously we're not pushing back to near how much more time we had left in qualifying, I think. In the qualifying run we could have got that into the 58s and put ourselves in the top 10 stars but like i said just wanted, i only did about 10 15 minutes on the qualifying so then downshifting it into fifth gear and you can, i mean staying in fifth gear sorry just a little lift and then accelerate through the corner and just let the rear just glide through you can see it on the replay the rear is just kind of stepping out and just gliding through that corner really enjoyable way to drive this car i, I didn't it took i admit it took me about five it took me about two three laps first first lap i lost it completely there because i just chucked it in wasn't expecting um, the car to be as loose as that but once you got used to it um just being gentle with the steering inputs it was fairly easy to get used to it and i really did enjoy driving it you can see there in fourth gear just holding it on the um, exit there as we accelerate out in fourth gear that's why i did tend to go in fourth rather than third because third gear would just spin you a lot more and be a be a little bit tricky to get the acceleration down and it wouldn't get as much exit speed whereas going in fourth gear really does seem to get you speed it's one thing i'm saying this is another thing with the game that i'm starting to really pick up on is going into your gear before you're getting on the power on the exit um other games you can normally up, up shift while on the power and um but gt sport tends to favor this is another thing that i'm starting to learn like again with the bmw going up a gear before you come out the corner a lot of it is to do with the cars talk about the, the torque lines to see where the power is and um, it does some cars it won't favor as much but um the bmw for example the m4 gr4 um at brown's hatch getting into fourth gear coming out before you come out the corner whereas i'd normally go through it in third gear let it rev and then change gear it just you can gain so much time by doing it specifically on um brown's hatch it's the second to last corner the left hander um what I was doing in the past was going in third gear and staying in third gear through that corner and just accelerating out and I was losing time on people's ghosts and then I tried yesterday just put it in fourth gear and again three temps on a lap where I'd done it over in third gear it was a massive amount of difference and it really does gain your time on GT Sport so I wanted to share that little bit of information with some of you guys some cars it might not be so um, relevant but I'm definitely starting to pick up the handling traits of this game now and uh, hopefully we can start pushing these laps a little bit harder soon as you can see, on to lap, final lap, we've built up quite a substantial lead now. We're, we're well clear of the other guys. You can see, I love the way, just look on that replay, the rear is just gliding through that corner. It's just so enjoyable to drive. So down into fourth gear and then hold fourth gear for a long time. You can see there before trail breaking into third gear, just clipping the curbs, clipping the curbs nicely, accelerating out the corner, use all the width on the track, really fun car to drive. 
Um, we're, we're on our way for a comfortable victory here now in this in our first ever race in this car. Um, I didn't bother doing any other races because the competition wasn't that strong in this race. But I just wanted to upload this video just to get give you know there is more cars than just obviously GR4, GR3, um, GR1 cars. We want to try some different cars and get some videos out driving other cars just to show people that we can also drive other cars. I mean, I know I do tend to stick to the GR3 and GR4 etc. Um, and the GR1, but I want to start getting more variety in the car selection and obviously the car classes so we're going to be doing that and obviously we're going to start doing some public lobbies eventually as well um, not sure when we'll start that but it will be soon and um, sometimes it will be practice lobbies for races and um, where we're just practicing and not really doing a race it'll just be so we can all get in the lobby and practice together and um, other times it will be um, proper lobbies set up with racing sometimes I'll race sometimes I might not race I might just um, do the spectator mode and do some footage with you guys racing so you guys can check that out but um we'll do different things and um it won't be every day or nothing like that it'll be maybe once every couple of weeks or something like that i'll do that because obviously i want to concentrate as well on the fia races and stuff so you can see they're going over the last go through the last corner and we're going over line nearly eight seconds in the lead um our fastest lap on the last lap we pushed a little bit harder um i got it down to two 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 minutes and point one i think it was so we pushed a little bit harder I mean, it was actually seven seven point one seconds sorry we won by um so we we comfortably won that race and it was a it was an enjoyable race even though we didn't have the competition i enjoyed driving this car anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video we're gonna be back with more gt sport a set of course and project cars too very soon thanks again for watching